Gents, for today's video, we did the research. We interviewed 15 women between the ages of 20 and 30 around the world and asked, what are the things that men wear that drive you crazy? And we asked them to get specific. We didn't want to hear what they liked, what they think is okay. We wanted to hear about the items they absolutely love on a man. Now here's how the research went down. We spoke to 15 women. Each of them gave us 10 items on their list for a total of 150 data points. Now out of 150 data points, as you can imagine, there were a lot of duplicates. In fact, we had 29 items that had at least two votes, but in the top 10, we pretty much saw at least five votes and the winner had 13. So starting our list off, we've got nine items that received at least two mentions. We've got the soft sweater, shearling coat, pea coat, pajamas, hoodies, field jacket, boxers, aviator sunglasses, and most disappointing, the robe. Seriously, I was hoping the robe would make the top 10, but if you love it, rock it, and who cares what women think anyway. Next up, we had five items that received three mentions. The white shirt, flannel shirts, chinos, overcoats, and the leather jacket. I was very surprised the leather jacket did not get more love. In my opinion, this is a classic, should be in every man's wardrobe, makes you look more masculine. I've talked about the power of leather, how it just gives off this strong manly vibe. So if you love leather jackets, yeah, don't let this deter you own a leather jacket. I was also surprised that flannels didn't get more love, but not everyone can wear one like flannel daddy. Next up, we had three items receive four mentions. We had the V-neck sweater, tennis shoes, and unique shirts. I was happy to see the V-necks on this list. That makes sense. But when it comes to unique shirts, I'm not sure exactly what they meant. At this point, let's start our top 10. And there was a three-way tie here. All of these items received five mentions. First out of the three, we've got the Henley. And this makes sense because it draws attention to the chest. The Henley, basically a polo shirt without the collar. It's going to be casual, but I think it looks so much better than a graphic tee or even just a regular t-shirt. The next item tied for top 10, we've got a crisp, clean dress shirt. This makes a lot of sense. A man in a well-fitted dress shirt, that collar right there just builds up the neck. Overall, just a classic look, sends the signal that, hey, you are the man in charge. And rounding out our top 10, we've got accessories, specifically bracelets, rings, necklaces, all types of jewelry. And to be honest, watches probably could have been higher on that list because we had a woman like Taylor from Ohio. She told us that when she looks at jewelry, she likes jewelry with meaning. So she gave an example of a bracelet, but when you go with that description of how she gave it to us, watches could be right in there if you buy a watch and it has special meaning to you. And speaking of watches, let's talk about today's sponsor, Citizen. Now, Citizen was kind enough to send me out two watches, which I've been testing, and both of them have EcoDrive and Super Titanium. So, what the EcoDrive system means in plain English is it's powered by any light source, indoor, outdoor, doesn't matter. And great thing about the Eco system is you're not going to have to change out the batteries. You don't have to worry about it being mechanical and having to shake your hand or go in and wind it. No, it simply is using the light, and they're actually very efficient. Now, I also mentioned that both of these watches are made from titanium, incredibly light, incredibly tough. It's also going to be resistant to corrosion. I also like the fact that if you're allergic to different types of metals, this is going to be one that's relatively safe. Now, this watch right here is their super titanium armor. I absolutely love the design and look at this watch. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. The size is just right for me. 41 millimeters. I've got a relatively smaller wrist, so you could go with some bigger. They have some other options out there if you want to look. And what I really like about this watch is the clean design. You've got the date, you've got the three hands, but overall, this is just a clean look. What I also like about this one, it's got the sapphire crystal. It's 100 meters water resistant. But what's super titanium? Well, apparently, this is the combination of Citizen's original titanium processing and Duratec surface hardening. Basically, you get a material that's five times harder than steel, but only 60% of the weight. Now, the other watch they sent me is the ProMaster Skyhawk AT in titanium with the eco drive system. Now, as you can see, this is a much larger watch at 45 millimeter, but even with smaller wrists, once I got this fitted to my wrist, actually, I think the design is really nice and it doesn't wear that large. Now, one thing I really like is they paid attention to the details and they went with the anti-reflective sapphire, just not the regular sapphire. It's also waterproof down to 200 meters. But the coolest feature, in my opinion, is the atomic timekeeping technology. Basically, there's these radio towers around the world and 
once at night, this thing will synchronize to make sure it has the exact right time. Throw on top of that, you got a chronograph, you've got multiple alarms, and you have world time, which you can track in 43 cities. Oh, and in case you can't tell, it's a pilot's watch, so it's got a rotating slide rule bezel. Now, gents, I'm linking the Citizen down in the description of today's video. I'm going to link over to both watches that I have. Go check them out. So many different options over at Citizen. This is a brand that you can trust. They've been around for a long time, and you get a lot of bang for your buck when it comes to money spent and finding a style, a, a really good looking watch that's going to get you compliments. So, coming in at number nine with six mentions, we have the button down shirt with the sleeves rolled. Why? We've talked about this before. Women love the forearm. And if you're a thin guy, to me, this is the best look. Why? Because when that sleeve is going past the elbows, it just gives the illusion that your arms are a little bit bigger. Some of you guys get it. You don't have the huge guns. You're naturally a thin guy. This is also going to look good if you're a little bit heavier set. Instead of going for a t-shirt, you don't have the best body, then go for that button down. It's going to cover a bit more, just make you look better and give you better proportions. And it's going to make your forearms look good. Coming in at number eight, we've got the fitted t-shirt. This also had six mentions, but this was higher on most of the ladies' lists. Now, with the fitted t-shirt, there was a caveat. You had to be a thin guy. You had to be a fit guy. You had to be a jacked guy. So, here's the thing. If you are not in great shape, you probably want to go back to that, you know, the button down. I think it's going to work better for you. But if you are in great shape, then wear a t-shirt that shows off your body. The ladies love it and there's nothing wrong with it. Coming in at number seven with seven mentions, we've got the perfect scent. And I think for a lot of these ladies, the perfect scent is going to be something fresh, something clean. Now, Laura over in Illinois, she said, you know what? I want a strong scent on my man. So, hey, consider maybe something with Ambroxan. You're going to smell it like a lot of guys, but you know what? The ladies still love this. Now, Elizabeth over in Colorado, she said she wanted something a little bit smokier, a little bit boozier. She wanted a heavier, sweeter scent. So, then look for something like that. So, how much do you need to spend? Well, no woman said you need to go out there and buy an expensive fragrance, but Amelia over in Illinois, she said, you know what? I want something yummy. So, maybe look for a fragrance with a little bit of cinnamon or maybe a full-on gourmand, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate. This is making me hungry just thinking about it. My last word on fragrances, gents, find something that you love and wear it with confidence. She'll like it. Coming in at number six, also with seven mentions, but these on average were higher, a tailored suit, a suit that fits your body well. So, if you're somewhat in the style, you've probably seen the meme, a well-tailored suit is to women what lingerie is to men. Gents, I can't disagree with this statement. It is the truth. Seriously, even as the suit becomes less and less common, women still find it attractive. Why? Because it makes a man look better. Builds up the shoulders, makes you look taller, slims up the waist, creates a masculine silhouette. Seriously, gents, when you start wearing a suit because you simply want to wear a suit, this is going to transform your life. Coming in at number five with nine mentions, we've got boxer briefs. Now, boxers did receive two mentions, but you notice tidy whities didn't get any. Boxer briefs are where it's at. Coming in at number four with nine mentions, we've got perfect fitted jeans. Notice that it wasn't just jeans. It's perfectly fitted jeans. There's two parts to this. First up, you want to buy the right style. You don't want to go for carpenter jeans unless maybe you're a carpenter, but for most people, that really loose design just isn't going to work. Baggy jeans for most men is not going to work. Skinny jeans for most men is probably not going to work unless you're skinny. Thing is, find the style that suits your body. Maybe it's going to be tapered. Maybe it's going to be a thinner cut. Maybe it's going to be a regular cut, but find the cut and then practice wearing it. And when I say practice wearing it, I mean find the size that actually fits you. A lot of guys, they wear jeans that are way too loose. I'm not saying that you should go down a full two sizes, but maybe actually try wearing them a bit closer. I'm not saying go full on hipster here. I am saying though, actually find jeans that fit you, make your butt look good. Yeah, she's going to love it especially if you're in shape. Coming in at number three, and no surprise here, if you've watched my channel, boots. Why? Okay, so first up, boots make you look taller. Add about an inch to sometimes two inches to your overall height. That's a great thing. In addition, there's just something about boots that women love. I mean, this style right here, I'm going with the green suede, Jodhpur style, 
right here. This is going to set me apart from all the other guys. I really think every man needs to own a pair of boots. Now coming in at number two, and I know I already ruined it for you. We've got watches. Now I did put this at the number two spot because I had a lot of women not mention watches specifically, but they did say jewelry. They did say accessories. And I think they meant watches with that. Now gents, really quick, I need your opinion. Which of these watches should I keep? I love them both. And I got to send one back. Should I keep the Skyhawk? Should I keep the super titanium armor? I love the overall design, the simplicity, just the build of this watch right here. This is the perfect dress watch or this one right here. It's the aviator watch. I love the atomic timekeeping, the complications. I didn't think I would like the size 45, but this fits perfectly on my wrist. So does the 41. Which one should I keep? I'm going to link to both of them down in the description. Go check them out and let me know down in the comments which one I should keep and which one, unfortunately, I should send back. Coming in at number one, 13 out of the 15 women we spoke with talked about this is something that they absolutely love on a man. What is it? Great looking footwear. Now, I know we talked about boots, but what they talked about specifically were styles of footwear that just showed he was independent, that he was into his own thing. In fact, two out of the 15 women said they love Western boots. Gents, it's all in the details. The material that the shoe is made from, Taylor over in Ohio, she started talking about suede. She said she just absolutely love it when a man wears suede on his feet. This takes confidence and it really sets him apart from all the other guys out there in the crowd. We had one woman talking about wingtips. She loved the look of a good pair of brogues. For her, this just screamed professional that this guy was on his way. Missy over in DC said she absolutely loves loafers. Fun, playful, the kind of guy I'm looking for. So now you know what the ladies like, but what should you avoid wearing? Well, gents, find out in this video right here. I talk about the things that you need to stop wearing. Seriously, gents, doesn't matter what year it is. These things are out of style. They don't make you look good. And, and yeah, you want to avoid the items on this list. Find out what they are by clicking on this video right here.